six updates in the latest immigration changes in Australia. In today's video update, we will be talking about the following. End of COVID-19 concession period. Employer-sponsored visas. Skilled Regional Visa Class 887. New family visas. Safe Haven Enterprise Visa. And Temporary Graduate Visa. Are you planning to migrate to Australia? Do you want expert advice? Visit our website now. Where hundreds of Australian immigration advisors are registered just to help you with your immigration journey to Australia. Just click the link in the description box or pinned comment below. Let's continue our video and talk about end of COVID-19 concession period. The Australian government via the Department of Home Affairs declared the closure of the COVID-19 concession period at 25th November 2023. As a result of pandemic imposed travel restrictions and worsening business climate, many visa applicants were granted several reliefs. The lifting of international travel restrictions means that these concessions must stop so as to make way for a properly managed immigration system and avoid abuse of those concessions. The second update talks about employer-sponsored visas. A fifth from 25th November 2023. Changes to employer nomination scheme, regional sponsored migration scheme and temporary residence transition stream. Visa nominations, temporary skill shortage visa holders had worked with their sponsoring employer or in specific occupations for two out of the past three years. Work reductions due to COVID-19 will no longer count for work experience requirements. Age exemptions are also soon coming to an end. Third update is about skilled regional visa subclass 887. As for concessions for subclass 887 visa, that is applicable to the eligible skilled provisional visa holders. These are set out in the COVID-19 concession period. Presently, applicants must log from within Australia and adhere to the normal working and regional residency criteria. Other temporary measures of this subclass of the visa also end in the termination of the concession period. The fourth update is about family visas. The place-based waivers were offered to some family program visas in the COVID-19 period. Applicants of partner or child visas who have been in Australia at any stage in the duration of concession qualify for being granted visa in the country. These arrangements in any case do not cover applicants who are beyond the Australian border throughout the concession period. The fifth update talks about safe haven enterprise visa. The end of the COVID-19 concession period may not affect the safe haven enterprise visa pathway program. Holders of this visa can access a permanent visa pathway option through the resolution of status subclass 851 visa. Last update is about temporary graduate visa, all new applications for the temporary graduate visa program must now be submitted in Australia from 25th of November, 2023. Nevertheless, subsequent entrant applications would still be filed from overseas and Australia respectively. Summary of today's video update. The latest changes to Australia's immigration policy put an end to COVID-19 exemptions that apply to several visa categories such as employer-sponsored visa, skilled regional visa, family visa, business innovation visa, and graduate visa. These changes signify the return to normality after the pandemic on immigration matters. Our video ends here. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss any update. Thanks for watching our video today.